on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Bob heads to North Florida to Bienville Plantation, one of America's most renowned hunting and fishing operations. Joining Bob on an exciting morning of quail hunting will be Bienville Plantation's General Manager, Tim Rohde. Also on this week's Sportsman's Table, we'll feature a South Carolina certified flounder recipe. All this and a whole lot more, and it begins right now. Woo! Oh, oh, huh? There you go, right there. Nice. That's done. what I come down here for. Ha ha! Woohoo! Now that is a true talking strike right there. Our Chevy destination this week takes us to Bienville Plantation, known for years for its trophy bass lakes, where many outdoor celebrities have come to make television shows because of its numerous lakes, which offer various depths, water clarity, cover, and structure. But trophy bass is not all that Bienville offers. They also have quail hunting and alligator hunting. Plus, Bienville offers quality lodging and meals for individuals and corporate outings as well. For more on what Bienville can offer the outdoorsman, visit them online at bienville.com. Bienville Plantation, where we can make your outdoor dreams come true. For your next Chevy destination, make sure you're getting there in style and comfort in a new Chevrolet vehicle. For more information and monthly specials, visit chevy.com. All right, Tim, I got your left wing, man. Yep. Tigger says we got birds in here. Man, that's a beautiful point. You know, Tim, as the sun comes up over Bienville Plantation. You couldn't ask for anything better than <laughs> No, that. sir, you could not. Mm. And you know what I'm excited about? What's that? Bird hunting early in the morning and bass fishing in the afternoon, man. What, what, well. what a combination. Nicely done. Nicely done. Woo! Oh, man. Good boy. Tim Grits got your bird right there, man. Good boy. Woo-hoo! Mm. Good boy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Mm -mm -mm. Well, folks, listen, my wingman on today's show, Tim Rohde, he is the general manager here at Bienville Plantation in White Springs, Florida. And I tell you what, you know, Tim, that's what it's all about. I mean, it is. You guys do quail. I mean, look at this beautiful habitat. You really got a great course here. Uh, 15,000 acre playground. Again, right. where can you go quail hunt of a morning and then bass fish in the and afternoon? bass fish the afternoon. And a lot of people don't realize that. You know, they yeah. think we're just a fishing destination. But we're not. We're, we're a quail and fishing destination. And you can mix it up. When you come here, you're not strictly just quail hunting. Or you're not strictly fishing. If you want to, like you said, want to do a half a day of fishing, yeah. go out for half a day, come on back, and let's go to the field in the afternoon or vice versa. Well, I tell you what, and you know, most, most sportsmen and outdoorsmen, they love shooting. Um, they love fishing. Mm -hmm. And you guys have got it all. And I think uh, Blaze, Tigger, yeah. And grit. We've got They're some more birds. Yeah, wow. man. Hey, that's yeah. a great shot to do. Right, I'll tell you. you. All right, but let's thank do you. it. Let's see what else we can do. All right. They're definitely holding tight. Yeah, they are. Of course, it was 37 degrees this morning. Right. Which is a good thing. That's good bird hunting weather. And you know, Tim, I tell you, a lot of folks, again, don't think about, yep, there you go. Win! There you got him. All right, guys. Be ready, Tim. All right, I'm ready. You got me out in the open now, brother. <laughs> yeah, it scares me now. Oh, now you probably tell me what you, you can oh, really do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You've changed me up here. I've got out the trees. <laughs> Tigger says, birds in here. Grit is working hard. Mm -mm. Right there you go, take it. Ah! Ooh. Well. Over here, Grit. <laughs> that one I should have had. I'm telling you, they're up and flying and getting away. Right here. Up here. Alright, do I get one o'clock? 
Got you. Woo! We got him down. There we go. Wow, that's an awesome rise right there now. Woo! I think I better get reloaded. Tigger says there's more. So let's, let's take while Blaze is collecting the birds over here. Mm -hmm. Listen, by the way, that's some pretty good shooting, man. Huh? On your end, he was. Well, now, listen. <laughs> but well, you did get me out of the office. So. I did get you out of the yeah. office, huh? Well, listen, I mm -hmm. want to tell all the folks out there. Let, let's talk about, we've come out of the trees and beautiful habitat there. Now mm -hmm. we've got some open fields. And, and that's what's so great about the Inville. You guys have kind of, you, you've done it all. Yeah, we've got, we've got the fields that are, you know, planted pines throughout the field. We've got the fields that broom sage, kind of open cover. You know, um, all of our fields, you know, we do plant uh, food plots throughout the fields right. to also help, you know. Um, but yeah, we, we basically, um, you know, try to offer different field selections, you know, when we get a group that comes in here. So when they come in for a full day hunt, they're not hunting the same field that they hunted in the morning. And well, the afternoon will bring exactly. to a different field. And while we're talking about groups, I know you love individual hunters and, mm -hmm. and you'll put packages together and that sort of thing, but you also do corporate packages. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's a big deal down there. Tell all the folks it, about it, the it corporate is. Um, we've, we've got corporate groups that we work with that actually do what they call their team rewards program. Right. And basically it's an incentive for their customers to try harder, spend more money, buy their product, and they reward them by bringing them to Benville Plantation. Wow. Um, and it's been working for them. They'll, they'll bring a group of 50 at a time. Wow. So we can accommodate up to 50 people. Awesome. Um, and like I said, they these guys love it. They request it. They can go anywhere else. They can go to Hawaii. They can go to NASCAR. And they keep saying they want to come back to Benville. Man, so that tells awesome. you something right there. That is and awesome. We'll, and we'll work with corporate groups anywhere, you know, from four to 50 people. And same with individuals. Don't think we, you know, we're all about the individual mom, dad, son, father, you know. Um, they want to come out and do a hunt we're, we're, or just to fish. We're, well, we're, you know, and I think that's that. exactly, and that's what's so special about Bienville. And folks, listen, <clears throat> go to our website, go to Bob's Top 16 at bobredfern.com, and you'll find Bienville Plantation right there. But if they also want to go to you direct, tell yeah. them all the website. Yeah, they can go to www.benville.com. Um, or they can just call our office at 386-397-1989. And like I said, we'll work a trip up for them. We work it to your needs, so it's not a, a specific package. Yeah. So you tell us what you want, we build that package to meet your needs. There you go, brother. Let's okay. go get some more birds. I think Tigger, okay. and, Tigger and Grit and Blaze, woo! I see them. I think they're waiting on I us. I think they are. All right, man. When we come back, more quail hunting from Bienville Plantation. If you're looking for a new fishing or hunting location that is affordable and with an outfitter you can trust, then visit BobRedfern.com and click on Bob's Top 16. Tigger's got birds. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Gotcha. Now I'm sure they're right off his nose. All right. Grit says, I'm going to find yeah, Grit's looking. Where's that, Grit? <laughs> Uh-oh. I think she's on. <laughs> He's got him. Look at him. What are you thinking, Tigger? You what's your little brother doing there, huh? What's your little brother doing? Woo! Got one! I got one down on the left. Okay. Tigger says there's more in there. Right here, Grit. Right here. That's a nice cubby rise right there. There it was. Wow. And you know, Tim, I love shooting over and under shotguns for birds. Oop, there he goes. Yep. We'll let that one go as a safety. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking, Grit? <laughs> I love watching these dogs work. Look at that. Oh, nice shot. Great, Tim. Excellent shot. Thank you. Oh, look what look what getting you out of the office has done for I you. Know. Huh? Man. If I'll just do this yeah. at least twice a week. Yeah, I think so.
Ah, he's down. Woo! I should have got that one in one. I didn't mean to take two. <laughs> <laughs> That's that instinct. I know it. Well, I tell you what, it's a little bit more formidable. And I'm not using it as an excuse, but truly, when you have differences of change, like trees in the back, right? You know, it just it it it's a little harder. And that's okay. Tigger says, "Birds in here." One of the biggest trees on the plantation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow! Nice Got shot. Him. Nice shot, Bob. Got him. Woohoo! The anvil snow. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Folks, listen, I've got to talk about this wonderful 725 Browning 20 gauge, 32 inch. This is the pro sporting model, brand new from Browning. It is an awesome, awesome shotgun, okay? I always tell you exactly what I'm using when I'm in the field. And you cannot go wrong with, again, with the Browning 725. Log on to browning.com and check out a local dealer near you. And as always, hey, my ammunition of choice, Winchester. You betcha. All right, man. There got to be okay. more out there. Beautiful point right there. Let's see if we mm. have a cubby in here. Tim, that's Bienville Plantation at its finest right there now. Mm. Tigger, Tigger says, you, you guys hurry up and find that bird. Find him, Grit. Find him, Grit. Your way. All right. Woo. Another good shot. Ha. Oh, man. Ha. Yee -hee. Awesome. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Nothing wrong with that. No, sir. Wow. I, that's, I just love this diverse habitat. This, this is awesome. Man. Definitely mixes it up just a little bit, huh? I Listen, I, I can't tell you how excited I am to be here. Mm, mm, mm. What do you think, Tigger? Huh? Sportsman's Table. Brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Remember, by South Carolina, it's a matter of taste. Well, folks, joining me today is Executive Chef Sean Thomas from the Chemist Restaurant in Myrtle Beach. And we're here at the International Culinary Institute in Myrtle Beach with a great fish recipe. Sean, hey, thank you for coming to the show today. I'm really excited. Flounder, you bet. This is going to be a great twist. What do we got? We have pan-seared flounder from Merle's Inlet. Oh, wow. And we're pairing it with a duck sausage and shrimp perlo. Ooh. And we're going to finish it with a pecan brown butter. Now, how long are you going to let this sear? Not long at all. Probably three minutes each side. Well, you know, one of the great things I always learn from you all is don't overcook the main meat. <laughs> no, sir. Not at all. Okay. Now, to this, we're going to probably add just a second longer. We're going to add a little time to it. And we're just going to let that sit and infuse in it. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and start on our sauce, which is just a simple brown butter sauce. All right, Sean, what do we got now? Well, now it's just about ready to flip. Okay. We're going to take a second, flip oh, it wow. over. Mm. And the butter is rendering down nicely. It's going to take on like a nutty kind of taste to it as it browns. Well, it, and this is all going to be done in one pan, right? Yes, sir. Oh, one pot wonder. That makes it easy. And hey, folks, it. log on to BobRedfern.com, and you'll have Sean's recipe right there. And you can do this at home. Mm. Or when you're in Myrtle Beach and you want to experience some great food just like this, Sean will be more than happy to whip it up to you at the Chemist Restaurant in Myrtle Beach. Yes, sir. Mm. Bob, we're adding some candied pecans to it right now. All right. And we're going to finish it with some fresh chopped herbs. This is kind of unique, you know. Of course, I have to tell you, leaving up these kind of recipes, it takes a chef to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And of course, we're going to give it just a dash of wine to clean it up. Mm. There you go. We're ready to play, Bob. Okay. Let's eat this. I'm all about it, man. All right. Here we have shrimp perlo with a duck sausage. Okay. We're going to take that, throw it in the middle here. Now you got a little form there. Of course, I know folks at home. If you, you don't want, have to see. Right. I, I eat a lot. I have to use a portion control. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> my spoon slowly got bigger and bigger. My tasting spoon went from this. I know, man. To most, this. most folks just take it, dump it out on a plate, and go. There, there you go. go. Oh wow, that smells great. Mm. And with all that cooking in one pot, uh, one pan, that kind of really is a. Uh, you get all the flavor. Oh yeah. Look at that. Mm. Now who would ever thought doing flounder that way? There we go. That is fantastic. Mm. I take a little spoon right here. I gotta have a little of the juice. Oh yeah, yeah. that's the best part. Mm. And it smells great. Mm. A little bit of the candy there. Mm. I'll leave some around there. And Bob, last but not least, I have a little fresh Brussels sprouts. Oh, wow. And we're gonna shave them down like we did. Yeah, a little bit of veggies there, okay. This is our veggie portion, yep. yes sir. And we just wanna put that right on top. Just to keep it honest, sir. Great looking dish, that is wonderful. Well, Sean, thank you so much for being our guest chef this week. I'll tell you what, and folks, listen, if you would like to experience more great food, just like you saw in today's show, and you're in the Myrtle Beach area, stop on by the Chemist Restaurant. Sean will be there. He'd be more than happy to put a recipe like this together for you. And as we always like to say, each and every week, go on to certifiedscgrown.com and see what's fresh on the menu for yourself. We'll see you right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. If you would like more information on South Carolina grown products, visit them online at certifiedscgrown.com. Remember, buy South Carolina. It's a matter of taste. We're all ready. And Grit's going to do his thing. Mm. Man, a beautiful Llewellyn point right there. Mm. Pretty, pretty point. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Oh, man. Got that one, Bob. I, I, well, I'm sorry. I helped you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need all the help I can get, believe me. <laughs> no, no, man. You've so been broke free. <laughs> you broke free of the desk in the office, man. <laughs> there comes Grit. Right Take him. There we go. There I got him. I hate. Oh no! I'm out of shells. Ah! Oh! Oh well. <laughs> I got one down on the left. You ready? I'll tell you what, Tigger and Grit ain't ready to give up yet. Mm -hmm. Are you guys, huh? Are you guys? Yep. Yep. Oh, Maybe. there we go. Tigger's what you got, Tigger? Point. One more? You think one more? Maybe one more for Tim. Huh? No? Yeah, one more for Tim. Ha! Take him. Woo! <laughs> yeah. The one went down, that one there. Yep, it's getting ready to fall. See, you got two extra shots, huh? I know. That's it. Imagine that. Well, folks, that's our show this week from beautiful Bienville Plantation down there in White Springs, Florida. I tell you what, the next time you think quail, do not bypass North Florida Bienville Plantation. Log on to Bob's Top 16 at our website, and you too can book a trip of a lifetime. Well, I got to thank my guide today. I tell you what, he has some great dogs. Blaze Fierro, those dogs, grit, 
Tigger and Snow and all those wonderful dogs you'll see when you come down here. And I have to thank especially my wingman today, Tim Rohde, the general manager down here at the plantation. It was great getting him out of the office and getting a shotgun in his hand. And I tell you what, you might be able to talk him into doing the same thing when you come down. Again, as I always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you next time. And hey, listen, I'm getting ready to go on the cast part of our blast and cast Benville Plantation adventure. So again, stay tuned because I tell you what, bass fishing may be in my future.